21 and 22. No man also soweth a piece of new cloth on an old garment, else the new piece that fill it up taketh away from the old, and the rent is made worse. And no man putteth new wine into an old bottle, else the new wine doeth burst the bottle, and the wine is spilt, and the bottle will be marred. But new wine must be put into a new bottle. This quilt, oh, I don't know, probably about a year ago, something like that. I don't remember when I did it. But I mixed new material and old material together. So that's why the Bible verse is there. To prove that the Bible is right. So, this right here... That you see right here is the old material see here it it rips up and this right here is the new material you can't put old and new together I've tried it and, and believe it or not well that's got a hole right there it's coming loose right there and I've tried it and now we see it so, oh, this is my doggy spots. So, I've got a few of these that I've got to fix. And, um, so, I mean, I did everything right. Did it by the book, but that's the way it happened. So, now I have to go through, and we have to fix them. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find all these spots like this, and I'm going to take it to the sewing machine, and I'm going to zigzag it. There, see, even the batting is gone. I don't know where it's at. All right. We'll just have to live without batting there. But then I'm going to turn it around and make this into a quillo. And this is the pretty material that I found to make it. And hopefully it'll work. Let's spread it out here. See, I think that right there would look pretty on it. Alrighty, so I'm going to go do some zigzagging, and when I get that done, then we'll work on the quillow. Okay, right here where there's no, um, something's poking me right there. Right here where there's no, um, fiber fill in there, I'm going to take and cut me a piece, and then I'm going to put it up in there. There's a piece of fiber fuel up in there. And I'll see if we can't straighten it out. I mean, the rip's big enough, I might as well go ahead and put my hand up in there. <laughs> and get it right. There we go. Arr. And lay it out. That should have it. Yep, that has it. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew on this side. And I'm going to sew on this side. And then sew that right there up. And that should take care of that. Okay, I have it all done. So now what we want to do is we want to fold it. So what we're going to do, open it out. This right here is our middle line right here. See, I think I need to go this way. Yeah. There's our middle line. That's what I'm going to go by. So, I'm going to turn this one over on that one like that. And scoot it over. And I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to fold this one over on it. Like that. Now then I'm going to take this right here, fold it down, like that, 
Keep on folding it down. There we go. Now we're down to here. <laughs> and it all didn't fit. So we'll throw that one in there like that. Well, that there's going to be a different pillow, ain't it? Okay, we need to find another way. Because that, that right there is not going to work. So, let's see if we go halfway with it. And then we go halfway again. Nope, that's, well, that's better than what it was. So I think we can handle that. I think we can handle that. Alrighty, now then. What we want to do now is get us a pencil and piece of paper. Oh no, I have lost my paper. There we go. Found my paper. Okay. Just one piece out here. All right. We want a measuring tape. If we own one still, <laughs> I gotta get used to this. Okay. This right here, from here to here, is 14 inches. 14 inches. <coughs> And we want to go up, uh, let's go 18 inches, 18 inches, okay, so we have 14 by 18, now let's just see how round it is, because I won't want it tight like I did that other one, I want this one right here looser, so we have 33, half of 33 is 15, so on a 14, we want to go 16 so we have some seam allowance. And 18, we want to add to it too so we have seam allowance. So we'll go 19 on it. So I'll get our material ready and we'll start the hacking. Okay, I want to try to make sure to keep my moon there. I, I like that. So we're going to... Take and cut it. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to cut it down to eight inches. That right there gets it. But okay, I want to go more this way on it to keep my meat. So we'll put it on the counter. I, on that counter, I showed you. All right. So right there will work just fine. We're going 18 here. We're going to go halfway down. And we're going to be, I mean, 8 is what I'm hit to say. So here's 8 here and 8 here. So I think right there will work just fine. So I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to turn it in half. There we go. I like this better. That way we can cut it straight down. Let's do it that way. I'll, I'll change my mind and make things work for me. And uh, it always works out in the end. I'm happy with it. Alright, so here we have eight here. So we'll put eight up here. And now we're going to find our cutter and we are going to cut right down there. Alright. There we go. Now I'm adding an inch to it. Just to be on the safe side. I'm not worried too much about, you know. So I'm happy with that one. Alright, now the other one is nine and a half. So we're going to put this down here. We're going to go nine and a half. Yar. I want to go up on it. So we have more of the um, thing. I, I like adding it, adding stuff to it, don't I? I'm good about that. Alright, because I want it bigger than what I had the other one. I'm afraid I'm 
not going to do that. I know what's what. I know what's what's in my mind. All right, so let's hack that one down, and I'm going to go an inch on it too. I don't know why. I don't know why. Now nah, I'm gonna stick to that one. You watch this side turn out perfect, and the other one come up too big. <laughs> We're gonna find out. All right, I'm gonna cut the backing of it, and then I'll be back. Okay, I got it sewed, so now we're going to, ooh, got to cut the ends. We want a good point. Yeah, we want a good point. There we go. No. I am babysitting. A dog and a cat, and um. So now let's turn these right here around where we can take a gander at it. Let's see what it looks like. I ha I sleep underneath this right here quilt a lot. My dog actually really loves it. So as you could tell got all them marks on it and all. Now my dog won't come in the house because I have these other animals, these, this other cat and dog in here. And but she'll come, he, he will come in later. But this is a girl dog and it's a puppy. And it's a, I think it's a husky. But anyway, I'm not looking at it, so. I'm, you know, okay. So now then. We want to see how do we want this on here. Do we want it this away or this away? I don't think it really matters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it this away. And I'm going to get me a couple pins. And I'm going to pin it down on this side. Like that. Now we're going to open it. And I have it right on a corner. Or almost on a corner. But that's where I think it should go. So. I'm going to spread it out here. And I'm going to go see if my dog will come in. Okay. I have got this done. So I'm going to spread this thing back out here. And we're going to take this side, and we're going to put it down. We're going to line this up down here at the bottom. And then we're going to pin it down and take it to the sewing machine. We're going to sew at the bottom and go up the side here. And then we're going to go down this side. So I'm going to go pin it down and sew it. Let's fold this right here and put it in it. So I'm going to fold this side first. Level it all out. <laughs> and then I'm going to turn it over here on this side. Level it out. And then I'm going to fold it again. Like this. All the way down. What are you bubbling for? Get the one of these straight. All right. Now I'm gonna try it a different way. Fold that down like that, and then I'm gonna fold it again. <laughs> then I'm gonna turn it over. Grab that one. Grab that one. Uh -oh. Then rough it through there. Yes. This one here was so much easier than the other one. So there it is. We got it in there. Ha 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 ha. Looks good. Let's look at this scene right here as your life. It's gonna always split open and always be messed up. Okay, we have 
the old, this is the old, and this is the new. If you notice, the old is was the ones that was ripping up, not the new. But let's look at this right here, Stitch, as Jesus Christ in your old life, and all he'll come through and make it better. So, we need Jesus Christ in our life for all these splits in it, and all the bumpy roads we go through. Alrighty, now here we are with the twist on it. So, I've got me a piece of material here that is, let's see, that's five by, let's see what this says here, we got 24, Between 5, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. 33. So, what we're going to want to do is we're going to iron it. I had uh, had this right here with an edge quilt, and I just grabbed one that looked like what I wanted. And now, we are going to put a strap on it. Yes, this right here was a last-minute thought, and uh, but that's okay. We we have enough brain that we can do this, even though we've already done got it like it is. We're smart enough. So what we're going to do now is we're going to fold this one into it like that. Okay, put this one into it, there we go, I wish I'd have grabbed my pins and pinned it down, it would have been a whole lot easier on me, but oh well, it's not a good sew day anyway, but I am doing it, I am not going to let it stop me, okay, so I'm going to go, and I'm going to sew on both sides, and then I'll be back. Okay. Now that we've got it here, what I want to do is I'm going to take it right here. Let me get on that side so I can get to my pins. All right. So what we want to do is right here is we want to give it a pin down. And I wish I'd have thought about this before, but that's okay. We can always modify anything. So, now then. You see what I'm talking about here? I hope you can see it. But I think it turned out pretty good. But make sure our strap is straight and it's not. We're going to turn that one around. We, don't, we want it straight. Okay, there we go. Now we got it straight. Now I'm going to take that and sew it down, and we'll take a look at it and see what it looks like. I want you to notice I still have this side of the quilt down in there so that we can get to this side easier. So let's see if we can't get to the sewing machine right here. And I am going to level this up right here and I am going to go right underneath here we can do it and I'll okay I knew we can so let's stick that down and I'm sorry you can't see it but you can get the gist of it, it and all. So here we go. Okay. Pick it up. We're going to pivot it. Oh, it went off. Sorry. I'm going to go back. Okay. Might as well go 
ahead and turn it while I'm doing it. Go ahead and turn it and go down. Okay, and then I gotta go this way with it. Get this here. That didn't work too well. Let's see if we can't. Are you touching my phone with an ice to me? This way. So we got this. It's close enough. And um, somewhere I'm stuck in here. There we go. There we go. So we have the one down. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other one. Okay. Now then, with it so to it, when you're not using it, you put it right down inside of it and all. But let's take it now and let's try to fold everything back up and put it back in there. So I'm just going to leave that like that. It'll probably be the death of me. <laughs> oh, it's not going to work. Okay. So there we go with that. Now then. Nope, it ain't going to work because if I do that, hey, look at here. It doesn't matter. Y'all get the gist of it anyway. <laughs> okay. Let's get this right here out. So you see, we got it on both sides. You can have it either way. <laughs> so that right there works out pretty good. Even though that right there is floppy down. But y'all get the gist of it. So I think it works out pretty good. <laughs> 